My name is uh, Larry Robinson. I'm a thoracic surgeon at Moffitt Cancer Center. Well, at Moffitt, I'm a thoracic surgeon, which means I do surgery on various kinds of cancers in the chest, which of course mostly is lung cancer, but also includes things like thymomas and mesothelioma and a variety of other kinds of less common cancers. Treatment for cancer depends on stage. And the earlier the stage, and generally the treatment is shorter and less arduous. If I see someone with a early stage one lung cancer, I can take them to the operating room, do a two hour operation, take out that cancer. They're in the hospital maybe three or four days. True, they may have some discomfort in their chest we can easily control. And a month later, maybe six weeks later, they're back where they were before. They aren't requiring chemotherapy, don't require radiation therapy, and just some follow-up scans. The most recent that I, I think of is a, a lady who was a New York model, who's 49 years old, has a couple young kids, great husband, great life. And this lady smoked a little bit when she was in her 20s, developed some pain in her chest, and was found to have a, an eight centimeter diameter cancer in the top part of her chest, invading the chest wall, and the top part of her chest and nerves. Over the next six months, she went through chemotherapy very well. We then operated on her, took this cancer out. She recovered from that, got some radiation therapy, and did a marvelous job. And then two years later, she developed a single brain metastasis spread to her brain. She underwent resection of her brain metastasis, some more chemotherapy, recovered completely, and now Tiffany's out a couple more years. And I've seen her, she's a, a great supporter of Moffitt and very articulate. But it's this woman's personality, how she can go through all of this and maintain her composure, her humor, her enthusiasm and courage. It just, uh, I, I'm always at awe. So she's, uh, and she's one of many. Uh, as a male, I have a 50-50 chance of having a major cancer in my lifetime. And I pray I don't get one, but should I get that one, I just sincerely hope that I can display the same amount of courage and dignity that I see in these people. It just, uh, every day, I'm just flabbergasted. And it's, it's quite a, the, it's an amazing thing that I'm able to witness every day.